Hello, Central Illinois. Tomorrow night is Football Friday, Week 3, our 25 sports game of the week, Washington hosting Metamora. The Panthers are off Panther to an 0-2 start, right but two years ago, the Panthers started 0-2 and, and still won the middle on title. That's certainly the goal of this year's Washington team. They hope to jump start their season with a big win tomorrow over their arrival. We just, uh, no room for error. We've got to kind of take it week by week and uh, go 1-0 and each week. That's kind of got to be our mindset from here on out. Uh, this rivalry uh, runs deep and it's a uh, rich tradition to communities, to schools that are very passionate about their football programs and uh, it creates a, an electric atmosphere on Friday night every year. The Peoria High Lions won a wild shootout over Peoria Notre Dame last week. They play one of the state's best games this week. They travel to Morris. These two know each other well. Morris is ranked fifth in the state. Peoria High is excited about the challenge. Um, again, another well-coached team that we've had um, some playoff battles with over the last few years. Um, we know they're going to be well-coached. We'll be well-coached. Um, and and we've, we fully expect a great game Friday night up in Morris. The Bloomington Raiders are off to a 2-0 start after a thrilling win over normal U-High last week. The Raiders host Peoria Manuel tomorrow looking to go 3-0. A pretty good start for their rookie head coach. Feeling really good going 2-0 to start the year, but we know we've got a lot of work to still improve and a lot of season left. So, you know, just kind of everyone on the team knowing their role and, and fulfilling that role, I think has been big the last two weeks. We'll have highlights of 20 games for you tomorrow at 10 and then even more on Friday overtime starting at 1036 on 25newsnow.com. Now to high school volleyball. The last time Morton and Metamora played, it was a sectional final match for a trip to the Elite Eight. Tonight they meet early in the middle on I regular season and they put on a pretty good show tonight at Tepke Gym. Ella Miller right here sets up Kayla, Kayla Shashelsky for the big Metamora swing. Then Addie Pesha outside drills one down and Metamora won the first set. But the Potters would rally playing without their coach Jordan Williams who was ill. Coach Cox and the Potters, well they probably made the coach feel better with a great performance. Ella Durbin, the ace right here. Then Leah Kemp is going to set up Abby Van Minnen for the kill. Later Van Minnen is going to hook up with senior Carly Whitaker on the block. And the Potters are winners tonight in three over Metamora. The Route 9 rivalry in volleyball has Tremont at DMAC. Kitty Whitson sets up Dahlia DeJesus for the DMAC point right here, but Tremont in control. Lily Klaus to the freshman Nora Parsons. How good has Nora Parsons been early in her freshman career? Later, Callie Whitcomb outside with a big swing, and Tremont continues to play well. They're winners tonight in DMAC. Now to soccer for a Big 12 showdown. Peoria Richwoods travels to normal community. Both teams off to solid starts this season. We start with a great goal by the Knights. Jose Covarrubias takes his time and then delivers the pass to Augusta Sasada and Asada, the beautiful goal right there to make it one zip Richwoods. But after that, normal community's defense is pretty tough. Bodie Thompson, a save right here. This one winds up in a well-played 2-2 tie. Washington hosting Rock Island tonight and very early in the match. The Panthers find the back of the net. Hudson Scribner to Isaac Reitz. Reitz had a terrific game and here's a beautiful assist ahead to Eric Nolte for the one time, you like that yellow ball? The one time we're in the goal right there. We'll let Nolte, Nolte celebrate because I don't have any of the other goals. They wound up winning four zip. Reitz had two goals and two assists, but I did get you a sunset picture. Let's take a break and enjoy. Dunlap also with the Quad City Challenge, taking on East Moline tonight. Defense story in this one. Joseph Heyer is going to beat the UT Attacker to the ball right there to take away a header chance. Higher got a shutout. Jackson Orris, their super sophomore, two second half goals. And Dunlap's a winner over East Moline. Two zip. The Dunlap Eagles are winners tonight. Football tonight, it's all Bills. They blow out the Dolphins. Jim Dandy now, we're going right back to Dunlap. Today was Middle Illini Unified Field Day at Dunlap. And kids from all over the Middle Illini having a great, great time today. Contesting all kinds of sports. It was like a decathlon of sports. This is my buddy here, Daniel Kim, with a great jump shot. Now, I got my picture taken with Daniel. I expect to see that picture. You haven't given it to me yet, Daniel. Uh, th this limestone girl might be the starting quarterback for the Rockets tonight. That's a beautiful toss. And she, she's, I'm going to be on camera, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you're going you're to make it on camera, absolutely. This guy right here with the volleyball ace, an ace right there. And of course, you can't have Unified Field Day without the dance contest to end the event. And, these kids put on quite a show for the camera. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know if we declared a winner, but that's pretty good. A great time at Unified Field Day at Dunlap today is Jim Dandy.